Hey everybody, Go Rebels Go! Today I am at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, UNLV, where I will be teaching some hospitality students all about cocktails. I'm looking forward to this one. Oh, we're, we're, we're about to kind of get there. So your question was perfect. Um, egg white drinks are, of course, drinks that are made in the shaker because the egg white adds emulsification. So you really don't want to add an egg white to Manhattan, but you can add an egg white to a Cosmo. Of course, it'll make it much drink, much different. Anybody drink Guinness? Anybody in the room drink Guinness? Is it, what's the texture of Guinness? Creamy, creamy. The difference between the creaminess of Guinness and let's just say the puckery fizziness of Negra Modelo. They're both dark beers. No, they're not the same style, but the m discerning difference between the two amongst a few other things is that Guinness is nitrogenated and it has that cream. That's what egg white does to any cocktail that will allow you to do it. Now, most of the times you need lime or lemon because the egg white needs to be cooked. Egg whites are not something you just drink raw on day. And what cooks the egg white is actually the city actually cooks it up. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go to the shaken up category. This could seem very similar to the previous one, but they're far different because in this one, we are adding juices or syrups. And now stirring it with a spoon is no longer going to mix it properly. This guy needs agitation, okay? Um, liqueur producers do that too. Think about it. If you're making a liqueur with pineapple, pineapples are very generous. You put a pineapple in there, it'll give you its juice in two seconds. But if you're making a liqueur with a walnut, right? The walnut's very stingy. So the process of making a liqueur with pineapple is very different to the process of making a liqueur with walnuts. In walnut, you either force it through in what is called percolation, like when we make coffee, or even distillation, which rips it. Um, this one here is a similar analogy. A, a shaken cocktail needs, um, uh, a shaken cocktail needs to be shaken, right? Because of the ingredients that are in it. It's also slightly larger, just slightly larger. In the other case, we had the 212, which was three ounces. In this case here, we have one and a half. That's two and a quarter, right? And then we have two halves. That's three and a quarter. So shaken cocktails can be three and a quarter. They can be three and a half. They could even be four, depending on what style of sour glass you're using. Um. And there you go. Okay, the next drink we're gonna make, we're gonna keep it in the family. What are we gonna do here, Priz? Why don't we... Um, uh, I can gin it. Okay. I can amaretto it. Okay. So, oh, this doesn't have a faucet to it. Okay. So same drink, same template, different ingredients. So we're gonna gin. One and a half ounces. Okay, instead of the Cointreau or the orange liqueur, we're gonna go back to our good friends with Amaretto. Just like that. Instead of, oh. Instead of lime, we're gonna do some lemon. just by hand like that. And instead of grenadine, I'm gonna go with orgeat. Okay, what is orgeat? It's an almond syrup, almond flavored syrup. Like that, okay. And because I promised you egg white, why don't we egg white this bad boy? There we go. So an egg, egg white typically is a half an ounce, but when you're using pasteurized egg white, you have to open the can first. And then you have you typically pour a little bit more because it's not as brilliant as it is. Just like that, okay? So I like, to, there's a few ways of doing this. The best way to do it is you, dry, you shake it without the ice for about 30 seconds, and then you shake it with a really good ice cube for 20 seconds. Bartender, bartenders that are really busy will look at me and go, really, I have to sit there for 50 seconds? Okay, now not only is the blender broken, the shaker's broken. And I'm like, how do you break a shaker? Oh, well, you know, so anyway. So what we're gonna do, this one was the one that was leaking, wasn't it? I could see a disaster. Uh, 
Thank you. There you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do, I like to call it just a 10, 10, 10. You let it cook for 10 seconds, which we've already done by simply talking. Then you're going to try shake it for 10. Hmm. Until it all ends out. Thank you. And so see, it's already got this nice frost to it, right, that we were talking about. But that might not even be enough. So we're going to take, actually, I'm going to steal. I'm just going to take a bigger, this is a rock, right? Get it, a rock. And I put it in here. That way I can help whip it up even more. Now what I'm also going to do, because experience has taught me, I'm going to wrap it up like this, okay? And Say that again? Uh, we just invented it. So this is called the, huh. <laughs> the, the Mose. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And so now we have, where are those pretty flowers? Did we bring those pretty flowers? Yeah. So now we have to drink it's emulsified. Look how creamy it is. Very nice. Boom, boom, boom. Where's Instagram? Let's bring it. And then because we can and because we've created this bed of of uh, opportunity here, we can put a flower here. And sorry, I'm using my hands. We put another flower there. Put another flower there. We can put another flower here. And there we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.